In tropical forests, it's never winter, and the trees are in leaf throughout the year. If a plant sitting on the ground beneath such a permanent canopy as this needs sunshine, it will have to climb to get it. These youngsters search for some kind of ladder by lashing around with their whip-like tendrils. Once one of them gets a grip, it puts a coil in the tendril, so shortening it and pulling itself closer to the branch up which it might climb. Other plants ascend by twining their main stem around their support. As a climber gets nearer the canopy and the light, it expands its leaves. There are no more determined competitors in this upward scramble than the rattans that live in the forests of Southeast Asia and tropical Australia. A mature rattan produces the longest stem of any plant. One has been measured at 560 feet. The mature plant doesn't develop leaves on its stem down here on the forest floor. It only does that up in the canopy. This luxuriant growth, basking in the full sunshine 200 feet above the ground, is the crown of the rattan, and it makes the plant's character quite plain. It's a kind of palm. The tendrils with which it climbs are so thin they are easily overlooked. But snag one of these on your arm and it will rip your clothes and your flesh. The tendrils are rigid enough to reach up and hook onto the branches of established trees. They then hold the stouter, heavier main stem in position while it grows upwards from the fearsomely protected bud at its tip. <laughs> 